Morning, investigators with the NTSB will be back in Hancock County looking for evidence in the wreckage of a plane crash that killed two people. It happened Wednesday afternoon. News 8's Katie Wisely is live near Indianapolis Regional Airport in Hancock County. Katie, what do we know about what happened? Hey, good morning. There are still a lot of unanswered questions. It's still an active investigation, so we're waiting to figure out what happened inside that plane and how those two people died. Now, what we know, we're going to show you the scene here on your screen. This happened yesterday at 1245 in the afternoon. Hancock County Police got calls from people driving by who said they saw a plane crash in a field about half a mile northeast of the Indianapolis Regional Airport. Indiana State Police say the small Cessna Citation jet was taking off from the airport when it crashed. A Cessna Citation is Cessna's corporate business line of jets and typically seats about 12 people. Only two people were on the plane at the time of the crash. Police say because of where the plane crashed, first responders had a hard time actually getting to the scene. Anytime you're dealing with a plane crash, you, you expect the worst, and this one is. It's, it's a fatal crash, which is tragic. And uh, that tragedy will resonate throughout this community, regardless of, of where they were from. And uh, But the difficulties in getting to the scene also prevented some problems. Is, is the muddy field, you know, um, probably a quarter to a half a mile off of the road here. And uh, so we're fortunate that we have partners here in Hancock County that were able to provide some, some uh, utility vehicles, four-wheel drive vehicles, to, to get the firefighters to the scene. ISP says they identified the victims, but they won't release that information until family has been notified. At this point, it's not clear where the plane came from or where it was headed. Now, we're still looking for that investigation. As I said, uh, this investigation is still active, so we will continue to follow the story and bring you updates on air and online as soon as we get those. Reporting live, Katie Wisely, Wish TV News 8. Katie, thank you. It is five minutes after six.